Greta the Gardener Gal, and today I'm with Dylan the Daughter Clan. You're from the Cascada Clan, is that correct? I'm a genus of about 170 species of yellow, green, orange, and red plants. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm the Cascada Polygonorum. I'm a leafless vine with branching stems. The total length of my stems are about 750 meters. I'm one of the smaller members of my family, but the larger species can grow up to 10 times my size. Can I ask you, why do you take nutrients from other plants? I have no roots and a tiny amount of chlorophyll, and I cannot make my own food through photosynthesis. No roots? Wow! Yes, my seeds germinate like other seeds. I grow on a host plant. Once I'm firmly attached to my host, my root withers away. When I'm mature enough, I'll live entirely on my own without attachment to the ground. Tell me more about that. I'm a stem parasite. Prior to my contact to the host, seedlings of all species are self-sufficient. Some yellow and some autotrophic. But even the greenest Cuscata species, with the most chlorophyll, are dependent entirely on their host plants for water, nutrients, and organic carbon acquisition. Wow! So, how long can you survive without a host? Well, immediately after germination, seedlings find themselves in a life and death race against time to establish contact with a suitable host within 72 hours or else I'll die because I use up all my energy and resources. How are you even sure that hosts are around? Well, doddlers like myself have evolved special adaptations. My seeds germinate relatively late in the season when the potential hosts are already established. How do you attach to a host? I have teeth, like probes, that pierce the victim and grow inside it. Well, personally, I prefer tomato plants because their stem is tender and easy to pierce into. How can you even find the right host? You can't even see. Well, Greta, I choose the host of growing upwards, circling the air, and smelling. You can smell. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All plants release green leaf volatiles, distinct chemical odors during cellular respiration. Oh, that's right. Didn't they test that by distilling the scent of a tomato plant onto a piece of rubber and then placing you between that rubber and a scentless tomato plant and you chose the rubber. That's right. Well, thank you Dylan the Daughter Plant for joining us on Greta's Greenhouse Gardens. Follow me on by. <laughs> You're welcome.